find the values of y for which the distance between the points p 2 comma minus 3 and q 10 comma y is 10 10 units okay find the values of y for which the distance between the points p 2 comma minus 3 and q 10 comma y is 10 units given that find p as a 2 comma minus 3 and q given as a 10 comma y and they mention that the distance between the p and q that is p q is given as a 10 units and we know that the distance formula d is equal to under root of phi 2 minus phi 1 the whole square plus x2 minus x1 the whole square so by using this formula i am going to apply distance between them that is equal to 10 here while finding out the distance between p and q P m supposing point P m supposing as uh, x1 y1 and point Q m supposing as x2 minus uh, x2 comma y2. So our formula is y2 under root of y2 minus y1 double square plus x2 minus x1 double square. That means y under root of y2 in the sense y y minus of minus 3 y minus of minus 3 double square plus x2 minus x1 that means 10 minus 2 the whole square is equal to 10 units and an applying squaring on the both sides this I can write it as an under root of y plus 3 minus 2 minus plus that's why we got plus here y plus 3 the whole square plus 10 minus 2 is 8 the whole square but this whole square is equal to 10 square now square and square root both will get cancelled so that this I can write it as an y square plus 9 plus 6y that means this I elaborated by using a plus b the whole square that means y plus 3 the whole square I elaborated and I wrote it as an y square plus 9 plus 6y and uh, y 8 square we know it as a 64 is equal to 100 uh, now 9 plus 64 that is of 73 so this I can write it as an y square plus 6y plus 73 is equal to 100 now on transporting this pass to other hand of the equation it becomes a negative that's why i wrote here as a y square plus 6, 6y plus 73 minus 100 is equal to 0 now from this we got a quadratic equation as a y square plus 6y minus 27 is equal to 0 and this is a quadratic equation this i and compare it with a standard form of quadratic equation that is of ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0 from this a is equal to 1 you will get and p is equal to pass to 6 and c is equal to minus 27 and the roots of this quadratic equation will be the values of y so i'm going to apply the i'm going to find out the roots of this quadratic equation by using splitting middle term method in that method we need to take the product of a and c that is of 1 into minus 27 minus 27 this minus 27 we need to write as a product of two numbers and adding them you should get the b as a 6 that's why minus 27 i wrote it as a 9 into minus 3 is minus 27 9 into minus 3 is minus 27 and adding 9 and minus 3 you will get a pass to 6 which is of b that means second term 6y 6 y we need to write as an uh, 9y plus minus 3y that's why i wrote as a, this 6y as a 9y minus 3y so we get a quadratic equation as a y square plus in the place of 6y i write i wrote it as an uh, 9y minus 3y minus 27 I wrote as is equal to 0 now we got four terms in this first two are one group and second two are one group from from the first group we can take as a y as a common on taking y as a common this i can write it as y of y plus 9 and on taking minus 3 as a common from the second group i can write it as a minus 3 of y plus 9 is equal to 0 again on observing this y plus 9 is a common in this both terms of this equation so on taking y plus 9 as a common we get it as a y plus 9 of y minus 3 is equal to 0 here product of two numbers is 0 means definitely any one of them is equal to 0 so if y plus 9 into y minus 3 is equal to 0 means y plus 9 is equal to 0 or y minus 3 is equal to 0 on transporting this pass to 9 to other hand you get y is equal to minus 9 or on transporting this negative 3 to other hand of equation you get a y is equal to 3. 
Likewise, you get the two values of y that are minus 9 and 3.